Hey guys, Jay here. Today I'm going to do a review on the 2022 Lund Rebel 1650 XL. Um, just be an overview and just some of my personal experience. I won't show any actual footage on the water, I don't think. Um, but I've had it out twice. Um, it's still early in the season here and I really did delay getting out sooner than later just because uh, here in Manitoba we've had really high water this spring and uh, limited access to some launches and there's a lot of debris floating around the water. So the last thing I wanted to do was take a chance on the prop. Um, but I have had it out uh, for two long days and really enjoyed it. It's been an awesome boat, uh, so I'll go over what I can and hopefully answer any questions you may have if you're looking for some information on this model or anything new about the new Lunds. Okay, so let's get at it. Okay, well I can start with the, the motor or the outboard. Um, this model that I have, its max rating is a 90 horsepower and uh, my choices were a 60 or a 90 horsepower uh, Mercury 2022 four-stroke. And uh, I chose the 90. It's uh, a Spitfire prop, which is to uh, give you uh, out of the hole performance, quicker hole shot as they say, so basically up on plane fast, um, I believe. But this motor's been awesome. Uh, I've, I've finished the two hour break in period. I'm almost done the 10 hour, and that's been awesome. It's quiet, lots of power. Uh, not that I've had a full out yet, but I mean, even, you know, a three quarter throttle, this thing moves. <laughs> Um, so I'm quite happy with it. And uh, thanks again to the dealership that made it happen, which is uh, West Shore Marine. Uh, thank you very much, Randy and Chantel. You guys were awesome to deal with. Uh, another part of this boat, uh, or Lunds, uh, they, they call, come now included, with, is the, uh, the travel cover. And that travel cover uh, is not using snaps or thumb busters. There's like, I believe, six in total on here. There's uh, four at the front and two at the back. Everything else is utilized, uh, utilizing the uh, Lund tr uh, Sport Track system. So it's little clips that roll under. You pull tight, roll under, and, and clip into the uh, Sport Track system. And then there's a few snaps and buckles. But other than that, it's really easy to put on. Uh, no more trying to stretch and push and hurt your fingers. It's a really nice addition to the boat, especially if you're traveling a lot like I do. I'm from spot to spot. I don't, I don't dock or moor all summer long. So. Uh, it's awesome. So I'll get into a close-up of that and how that works and uh, I'll just continue on. Okay. Okay guys, so this here is the, uh, the clip system. Let's try to zoom in on this. So you see this little clip here? What it does is it, there's a track system that's right here, just a long groove that runs the length of the boat and uh, you just pull it down, pop it in. And there's multiples all throughout. Well, I'm gonna say they're what? Looks like every six inches, there's another clip. So see, there it is. This little lip here goes into the groove here. And that's it. You've also got Velcro access for your cleats. So if you are gonna tie up at the dock and you want the cover on, and uh, there's also one uh, for the gas tank on the, uh, the other side. So uh, really, an uh, awesome way to put your tarp on. Okay, so now we'll get to the interior. Or actually, I guess I could do a few more things. Uh, I added the, uh, the guide posts. Uh, you can buy them. Um, there's all kinds of options you can get, but uh, I added the guide posts just because uh, with where some of the places I launch, I want to be able to see that trailer, especially if it's really submerged. Uh, the, speaking of the trailer, um, um, so in, in addition to the trailer and uh, the bunk guys and stuff, uh, the trailer is uh, power coated, which uh, I'll show you in a second, and uh, it's awesome. Um, it looks like it's going to hold up really well. I know I've seen questions online when I was doing my own research, and that is uh, how would it fit in the garage and everything else. So the Shorelander trailer that comes with uh, the uh, Lunds uh, are Swingway. So uh, my garage, I have a depth of 22 and a quarter feet, if you can believe it. That's actually not a bad size, but I was still nervous I wouldn't be able to fit it in. And I can put this in with the motor up on a transom saver, not down into the side like a lot of guys have to do. And that swingway trailer uh, piece, I have ample room to put the trailer down. I've still got a few feet to walk back and forth in the garage. So it's a, a really nice option with this trailer. And uh, I'll show you that next. Okay. So at the front of the boat here, this here is the Swingway trailer, if anybody's not familiar with it, and it's basically held in with a, a pin and a cotter pin. And you see the length here? I have a lot, right? Just 
gain that much room in terms of uh, trailering your or putting a trailer in the garage. So awesome piece or addition to the uh, Shortlander trailer and uh, I'm really quite happy with it. Also if you notice the uh, spare tire here that's an added option that's not a standard uh, that comes with it and uh, I actually I put the locking cable on there myself so if you're looking for an anti-theft idea that's uh, certainly a deterrent uh, if somebody wants it they're still going to be able to take it but this would certainly slow them down especially if they're not prepared and it's not about opportunity I've taken that opportunity away so uh, I just thought I'd make that comment okay so uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, we'll get to the interior I'll take the tarp off and uh, have a have a look at the interior okay okay so here's the back view of the boat I just removed the uh, travel cover and uh, we're looking at the cockpit here this ladder is a dealer accessory or a dealer option I didn't ask for it it came with the boat and I'm happy with it really happy with it I think it's cool especially on a hot day or heaven forbid someone falls out of the the boat they'll be able to get back in and pretty easily uh, as you can see I've got carpeting all the way around um, but the floor itself is vinyl which is awesome I love it I'm thrilled with it uh, I have not rinsed this boat out or cleaned it. I've used it a couple of times and Bill and I had an excellent day on the water yesterday and this, the mess we made on this floor with dumped worm containers and soil and anything else that comes out of the water that you drop on the floor of your boat, I am just going to hose this out and be done with it. I did notice it gets a little bit slick when it gets wet or there's moisture on there but that's just something you'll get used to. Uh, the cockpit itself, you can see the glove box here, is deep. Uh, it goes all the way to the floor and it's wide so um, lots of storage for clothing or whatever they, there's actually quite a bit of storage on this boat as you'll see as I go through the walkthrough here uh, the the chairs are incredibly comfortable they're Lund branded chairs I'll, I'll show you a different one with no life jacket on just so you have an idea um, the boat comes with three uh, three seats there's actually five seating options with the pedestal so it depends on how you want to set your boat up but uh, it comes with three the car, uh, driver side here the three gauges that are there is your speedometer your fuel gauge and your rpms uh, also got a, uh, an ac or a power adapter here uh, that runs off the master power and the control panel here with the buttons so you've got manual and automatic live well maintenance you've got uh, your nav lights and uh, your uh, bilge I'm sure you could add more as you want they call this little piece here a cell phone holder I don't know how um, if I would ever do that I'm just not sure I would trust it this little piece right in here right there but yeah so the steering wheel itself is tilt steering which is awesome the captain's chair actually you can adjust forward and backwards like you would in a vehicle like a like in an automobile so uh, that's pretty neat uh, there's cup holders on either side and there's also up cup holders up at the front in terms of storage we're going to get into that right away but just to let you know i've got uh, rod lockers which are lockable on both sides and i can put a seven foot six rod in there no problem full without having to break it down so lots of room okay so let's get inside so now here's the uh, the console for the, the captain's seat, so this here's the gauges, that's your uh, miles per hour, your fuel, and uh, your RPMs. The steering wheel itself is really a nice rubber, and uh, like I said before, it is tilt steering. To adjust for more leg room, you've got your 12 volt accessory. Uh, I had the uh, ram mount uh, and fish finder base installed, so that didn't come with the boat. Now when you're looking here at the, uh, the control panel, or the uh, power, there you go. So master power, horn, uh, lights, and nav, um, you can do an anchor setup. These are all 5 amp too, which is great. Well, most of them. These, this one's 15. That's for your 12 volt. Uh, aerator, auto, and manual. You got a bilge pump, and then uh, internal or interior lights and accessory. And this is something I didn't see in any review, so um, I'll show it to you. Um, in case you're wondering, it's LED, it's right here, it's on the uh, gunnel, so it throws a fair amount of light, you can't see it right now, oh, right there in the background is the uh, other chair I have, look at that, very comfortable lun seat on the post. But like I say, 
these are LED and uh, they'll be pretty bright if you're uh, out at dusk fishing. I'll turn that off. And then uh, I'll move over to the passenger side here. So uh, this glove box, you see this cup holder on either side, right? And there's your power trim. I'll move over here, this glove box, which I think I locked. It is lockable. Oh, I might have. Let's see. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Yeah, I locked it. But it's deep. So the walk-through windshield. I'll go up front. So now we're at the front of the boat, and there is a lot of room in here. A lot of room. So we'll start with the live well, which I'm going to have to clean out and rinse, because we did have fish in here yesterday. Again, it's lockable. And uh, it's big. We had a uh, two-man limit in here, so 12 eater size walleye, nothing over 20 inches. Well, 20 and a half was the biggest. And uh, a lot of room. It's uh, deceiving how big this really is. You can hold a lot of fish in here. There's also a cutaway for a bait bucket. I believe it would be a 10 inch. I measured the the diameter and it's a it's a 10 inch. Uh, I believe uh, the net came with it, which is kind of cool for live bait. Again, uh, more cup holders. Who doesn't like those? One there. And uh, I'll move over to the other side, which is this is the passenger side here. I'll just step up. So as you can see, the windshield. It's a very wide boat, but uh, in front of the passenger, there's more storage. This here's uh, my uh, trolling motor battery and onboard charger. And on here you have more storage, so I've got an anchor. Foam padding just to help absorb some of the shock with travel. And then I've got uh, boat fenders, but it's also pass through. So lots of storage. And at the very front, so we have for your, your lights, your nav lights. And these are snaps, so a little more cubby hole. So I guess you could use that for foot pedals or what have you, but for my trolling motor, it's an iPilot. There's a, it's all run by remote, and I don't have the full pedal option at this moment. 